And I just want to say, you know, I made a, I may look small, you know, but I, I'm, I'm a little guy, like, but I'm well put together, man. You know, I just want to show you. I still, I'm 59, but I still got it. Ugh. See? Ugh. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, see, I'm all natural. I, I eat good. I work out. I've been working out since I've been a teenager. Uh, uh, three times a week after school for like an hour and a half or a half hour, and I eat good and I drink my milk. And I used to take Joe Wider protein powder after a workout or Bob Hoffman's protein powder. Bob Hoffman's quick gain weight protein powder. That helped me back in the 70s. I have one of those drinks a day, a couple scoops, mix in a blender with a scoop of ice cream, some yogurt, a scoop, a tablespoon of peanut butter, a heaping tablespoon of peanut butter, a heaping tablespoon of honey, a half a banana, a one raw egg, a, a tablespoon of wheat germ, and a tablespoon of uh, whatever. Oh, a scoop of ice cream. Mix it up with uh, either like four tablespoons of heaping tablespoons of soy protein powder or a couple of heaping tablespoons of uh, Bob Hoffman's quick game weight. I mean, big heaping tablespoons. Or Joe Wider's protein. <laughs> to give it extra protein. And as I built my muscle, no steroids, that's all natural. Those are food supplements. It's like made out of like dehydrated egg and milk protein. It's like a milk and egg protein. That's what that was. Not steroids. That's not steroids. That's food supplements. It's like concentrate. You mix in milk, it gives you more protein. Because it's made from dried up, dehydrated eggs and milk and you mix it in milk, it makes it richer and more, gives it more protein, more protein and carbs. And I've been working out hard for 45 years, man. That's why I got muscles now. I never took a steroid. That's why I still got it. I never took a steroid. I just worked out the other day, and I'm working out again today. I do my chest press, two sets of 20, and then and then I do uh, two sets of 15, 12 to 15 bar dips. What's on the trip? Triceps. And um I probably on Tuesday I'm doing my upright rows. <sighs> sometimes I do it Wednesday, sometimes I do it Monday, you know. I do different exercises. As long as I do each exercise like once a week. I, I work I do two exercises today. Then like Tuesday I'll do two different exercises. Like pulling, like rowing and I hammer curls. And then a couple days later I might do overhead press with without weights. I just use tension. <sighs> and then I Two sets of tricep press downs, like 15, 12 to 15 reps, you know. Put that light over here, you can see my muscles. But it's kind of, kind of dark, I better put over here. And then, um, so, so, you know, so it hits me right, you know. But so then, you know, and then, um, and then like a couple, this so little today, I'm going to do the upright rows. <sighs> two sets of like 15, 20 reps. It's on the traps. It's up part of the back, these things. <laughs> yeah, it's good for boxers, you know. Ron Lyle had big ones. He was my favorite boxer. He was built like bodybuilder, man. Big Ron Lyle knocked down Foreman twice. But Foreman got up and knocked him down the same round. Then Lyle knocks him down again. Three knockdowns in that fourth round. And then the fifth round, Foreman knocks down Lyle. Lyle staggered Foreman. And then Foreman came back and knocked out Lyle with 21 punches to the head, man. And Lyle went down. He couldn't, couldn't beat the count. He had hit too many times in the head. Foreman just kept punching and punching. He came back. I thought Lyle was going to knock him out in the first round. He staggered him. In the first round, he had Foreman in trouble. Bam! Sledgehammer right. Bam! You know, overhand right. Wham! Foreman was staggered. Lyle was all over him in the first round. Uppercuts. Boom! Right uppercut. Bam! He was staggered. Howard Cosell says, A good right uppercut by Lyle. Foreman is staggering. He's staggering all over the ring. Lyle trying to move in and end it. You know, he... Yeah, remember how invincible George Foreman looked after 30 bouts. The man had knocked out Joe Frazier in two rounds. The man had stopped, knocked out Ken Norton next to me in two rounds. What's happened to him? Well, you know, because, you know, after that Lee lost and all that, he kind of lost his confidence. But he came back. Foreman, I, I met him. I, I love Foreman. Him and Smoker Joe Frazier, uh, Ron Lyle and Joe Frazier are my two favorite, and George Foreman and Ken Norton and Ernie Shavers, they're all also heroes of mine. Jerry Quarry was tough. Jerry Corey is another one of my favorite fighters. Huh? He, he knocked out Shavers in one round, man. They, yeah, they stopped the fight in the first round. He, he, oh, he knocked them down. He's all over him. Bam, bam, bam. Wah, 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 wah. Jerry Corey. See, I can still box, man. I had 26 amateur fights. Huh. 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 Huh, 
Ba 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 ba. Yeah. Hmm. Jabbing that hook. I learned that from watching Sugar Ray Leonard or Sugar Ray Robinson. Jab and hook. It's like one move, one punches. Bam! The hook comes right after the end of the jab. Then you hook. Jab and then hook off it. Bam! Yeah, that's how I was beating up on this guy. An amateur bout. I almost beat this one guy, really big, strong, but African American guy. But he uh, he had an early lead, so he barely won. But I had him at the end, man. Put my other shirt on. Where's my uh, David Rock Nelson? My David Rock Nelson. See, I got look. See, I got the back muscles. Lats. Triceps. I reach also my body. Get some milk. Got a banana here. Get my protein. Mmm. Okay. I'm putting my shirt back, back on. Like Ron and Rondo Adams says to Monster Bash, he goes, Come on, Dave, put your shirt back on. Come on. This is a family theater. This is a Monster Bash theater. These guys, like Steve Johnson, didn't, didn't drive his family 600 miles all the way over here to Monster Bash to see you take off your shirt. <laughs> yeah. There's one guy, Johnson, he says, Nelson, I didn't drive 600 miles with my wife and kids to see you take off your shirt. And he says, and by the way, with that mustache, you remind me of a certain Nazi dictator. <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine now on Facebook. You know, so he gets all my postings, you know, when I talk about my movies and stuff. I put my jacket back on. And I was flexing on Sunday. I got up on stage after one of the movies. And even though that wasn't the movie I was hosting, I did my rock talk on Saturday night, late, for a late night monster movie. That's what they do over here. They have me host a classic monster movie, and then I do my rock talk, talk about my movies. They have like three big guys, Mr. Lobo and a couple guys, big Dan Weber, Dan the Man Weber. They pick me up, they carry me off stage, and I go, but I'm not done talking yet. I still got my shirt off, right? Flexing my muscles, boxing for a crowd. They love that. And I grab my mic, they go, they try to pull the mic away. I go, no, I, but I'm not done talking yet. Uh, I, I, I got to say something. I got to say one more thing, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. And they, they, the guy, that big Dan Weber, those guys says, Rock, Mr. Lobo, a horror host from California, nice guy. And uh, he shows a movie there every year, too, which I go to. Those late night movies, I bring it's my job, and I sit back, relax, and watch a movie, a classic. I like Reptilicus. They showed that. That was cool. But uh, I, Dan, the man Weber, he says, he says, Rock, uh, Rock, you, uh, you weren't, you know, I wanted to carry you off stage. You quit too early because I figured I ended early so they wouldn't have to carry me out. He goes, Rock, I, I wanted to do that. I wanted to carry you off stage again. <laughs> See, there's, there's a ghost. Got that. More videos. There's a paperback, Planet of the Apes, the original, the original best. Yeah, I met her. I met Nova. Sandra, Sandra Harrison, I met her. There's a Jesus I made in Art 4 class, see? Art 4, Dave Nelson. Yeah, it's like crayon, and then you put ink over it, and then you scratch off the ink, and then that's where you get those lines. It's like Jesus coming out of the tomb, but he's wearing like a Technicolor dream coat like Joseph. Martin Luther King, a hero. It's a Wonderful Life, great movie. I see that free every year at the Park Ridge Pickwick Theater. Charles Ogle, Frankenstein. Yeah. Okay. Frankenstein, Boris Karloff, my favorite actor. My name is Boris Karloff. This shall be a thriller, so come with me, friends. Come with me before it's too late. 